Challenging trends are affecting the church in more affluent nations where the church has its longest history. Movement away from traditional forms of church is obvious as postmodern, individualistic, consumption-driven culture spreads. This is a seismic shift in how people view church relevance and involvement. It's been happening for decades. The COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated this trend as people have left regular church participation in even greater numbers and are seeking other ways to express spirituality. We truly are living in a new world that requires new forms of ministry. Simply doing what is familiar and hoping for the best will not suffice in these nations. But there is opportunity amid shifts from formal church involvement, people continue to search for authentic spiritual connections with God, others, and creation. They are searching for meaningful relatedness as opposed to rigid doctrine and structure. Community of Christ has been gifted for such a time as this. We must not miss this opportunity. People are responding as we connect the timeless practices of Christian spirituality with our emphasis on togetherness that fosters Christ-like community and ministry. Innovation on the scale of metamorphosis is creating fresh expressions of the church. More of this is needed. I want to emphasize the gravity of our situation in more affluent nations. We are expending massive amounts of effort and money trying to preserve what was designed for another time. We need to pivot to a future that involves openness to innovation in how we bring ministry in rapidly changing context. The first step is to accept this reality. Then we must concentrate our efforts to discern pathways into the future. Remember in the gospel cycle of birth, death, and resurrection, things can appear bleak before new life arises. This is the meaning of transformation or metamorphosis as propelled by the Holy Spirit. There is no one best model. However, there are approaches that may be used to re-energize ministry and relate to more people. One approach focuses on the mission prayer. God, where will your spirit lead today? Help me become fully awake and ready to respond. Grant me courage to risk something new and become a blessing of your love and peace. Amen. The mission prayer highlights three spiritual movements for individuals and groups. Become fully awake through spiritual practices. Courageously risk something new through group discernment and action, and become a blessing of God's love and peace through Christ-like ministry. This approach opens individuals and groups to be more aware of the activity of the Holy Spirit in and around them. But the key is to live, not just recite the mission prayer. Living this prayer creates constant opportunities for spiritual growth, ongoing discernment of God's call, faithful response, and adaptation to what is learned through reflection and innovation along the way. How could the movements of the mission prayer be used to focus and energize ministry in your group? 
What are you willing to let go of to respond better? How would you like church life that didn't leave you feeling overburdened with tasks? There are approaches that stress simplicity and focus instead of just working harder. They emphasize basic spiritual practices, deepening loving relationships in Christ in less formal settings, discerning God's call together, and offering ministry aligned with that call, and sharing sacraments. This simplified approach is especially suited to smaller gatherings or those leaving a building. It emphasizes the most basic form of discipleship in community. Ironically, this approach might be a more authentic expression of the gospel than others that have evolved over time in complexity, internal focus, and cost. I recently had a conversation with some young adult church members. They're not regular participants in church life. They talked about wanting a connection with the church, but not being comfortable with most forms of congregational life. These young adults really like camps, retreats, and reunions. They talked about friends who had tried churches based on charismatic pastors and performance worship styles who didn't find a sense of belonging there. Having online as well as in-person options are important to them. They are open to re-engaging with Community of Christ if relevant experiences are available. I asked them what they were spiritually seeking. They are drawn to our enduring principles and mission initiatives, but they want to see them lived rather than just talked about. They want inclusive community that mirrors Christ-like love for all. They don't want the same worship elements each week, lengthy sermons, or hymns with words and images they don't understand. They want to do something for good in the larger community and world. They want their children fully involved with them. They want to be able to doubt, question, and explore as part of their spiritual journeys. This is a fantastic opportunity for a fresh expression of the church that exists in more places than one. How do you see the Holy Spirit working through this conversation with young adults? How would you respond? How might your congregation support others who feel called to respond?